cool let's do a quick intro where are you from uh, something about you what do you do what are you studying etc yeah uh, so i'm from new delhi i completed my graduation in 2021 mm-hmm. as a btech computer science engineer from amity university in noida and after that i started working at accenture as a associate software engineer and it has been a good 9 to 10 months since i've been working Nice. And I applied for uh, MEM programs in December and January for fall 22. Got it. Okay. And uh, let's do profile because everybody likes to know the profile. So GRE, TOEFL, LTS, work experience, GPA, etc. Yeah. So my GPA was 7.85 out of 10. Mm-hmm. My TOEFL was 113 and my GRE score was 309. First time and the second time it was 320, but I did not submit my GRE anywhere. Oh like, wow! Yeah, so I, you, I <laughs> so why? Like, so you already had three twenty, and they basically waved I, off. Yeah, yeah, they they waved it off, but I was too nervous. I thought the score is still very low, and three twenty is very low. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, if 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 you look at the profiles of uh, Duke and Columbia, if you compare yeah. it, I, I yeah. thought, yeah, it was mm. low, so I did not submit. Um, and Accenture, I've been working as an associate software engineer for the past 10 months and I'm working in the SAP field. Nice. Okay, cool. And uh, which universities did you get admit and which one did you select? Yeah, so I got admits from NYU, from UIUC and Northeastern and Duke. And mm. I got rejected from Columbia and USC. Mm. Did you want it, either of them? So I really wanted to go to Columbia because, uh, Mm. first of all, New York and (laughs) the program is awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I've I've been to Columbia and it's it's awesome. Uh, The university is good. But Duke is not bad. I mean, it's it's super good too. I've heard great things about it. You're the first one. Yeah, especially the uh, engineering management program is awesome at Duke. They have a product management track and everything. So, of course, that was one of the top choices for me. Okay, cool. Nice. So you want to be product manager? Uh, yeah. Nice. Uh, so this is you should read this book. It's called Build Trap. I'm reading right now. It's an awesome book. It's for product managers. Um, it's super good book. Sure. I'll add it to my list. Do you like reading books? Uh, I do. I read a lot. So nice. I've been I, I started reading Cracking the PM interview. Oh, Uh, wow. Already. Wow. Look at you. Like, uh, so ahead of the game. (laughs) I can tell like Columbia Duke person. So (laughs) nice. Uh, Awesome. Uh, How was your F1 visa interview experience? What questions they ask you? What? Uh, So uh, let me start from my slot booking thing. It was really, (laughs) really crucial for me. And I booked my slot on 26th of May and I booked my OFC for 27th and Mm. my interview for first. So I had very less time to prepare all my documents and everything. Mm. But uh, thankfully, it, everything went really smoothly. So uh, my interview was scheduled at 9.50. But I reached there around 8.30 a.m. And they, they they let us in in 15 minutes time. Mm. And uh, which consulate? In Delhi. Okay, Delhi. Yeah. Yeah. And there was the security check and uh, your, your passport checking happened... Uh, outside the embassy and they asked us to wait for 15 20 minutes and they were sending people in row wise Mm -hmm. and um, so first they checked my biometrics and my ds160 there was one counter for that and there were another set of counters for the interview and first they checked my biometrics and then i was in the queue for the interview and uh, i got the first counter and it was an american guy he was a middle-aged guy and he was really chill. There were two people in front of me who also were applying for F1 and they got accepted. So it really boosted my confidence. <laughs> nice. yeah. 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 So uh, he was asking a lot of questions. Uh, what he was asking was to be specific, what skills you're going to gain there. And mm. once he got like the satisfactory answer, he was just uh, approving the visa. Mm. Yeah. So for me, he just uh, first he checked my right hand fingerprints. Mm. And after that, I passed him my I-20 service and passport. He scanned that and he was like, oh, so you're going to Duke University? I said, yes, I'm going to pursue engineering management from their engineering school. 
and he was like okay so what skills are you looking forward to gain there and i said that uh, i'm going to transition from software engineering to product management and uh, these are the sort of skills that i'm hoping to gain there and what all electives i'm going to take but he interrupted me in between so i had a like a long answer prepared but he just interrupted me right. and he was like uh, okay so what what kind what is your funding like how are you going to fund yourself yeah and i so i was nervous for this because i took a loan of like from leaf finance worth $90,000 mm. so it is bit on the higher side and i was scared that what if they cross question me or something like that but that didn't happen i directly said i, I have a loan from leaf finance worth this this plus my parents are sponsoring me with their fds and savings mm. but he was not listening to my answers very carefully he was just very quickly it was like a rapid fire round yeah he he already probably made a decision like you know i'm just going to pass her but like uh, for formality i'll ask you some questions yeah yeah maybe but you can't be too sure <laughs> yeah. yeah and then he was like uh, okay fine then uh, what does your father do and what is his annual income i said he works as a it consultant in so and so company and this is his income and he was like uh, okay it seems like everything is in order here and before anything he said like you're going to love durham it's a beautiful city and north carolina is one of the most beautiful states in us yeah, and yeah. i was like thank you thank <laughs> you so much and he said okay i'm approving your visa please collect it in 5 days nice uh, that's awesome such a good feeling to you know yeah, get it yeah. done yeah yeah and especially the golden words that your visa your is visa approved. is approved yeah totally totally so so good what's the one tip would you give for the students who are in this journey doesn't have to be visa yes. tip uh, and it doesn't it doesn't have to be one you can give multiple so uh firstly for visa i think be very very confident believe in yourself like you've made it to this university you've gone through so much like you've made it here it it is almost a year one one year long process that you know you've been through so believe in yourself a little bit don't be scared don't reject yourself even before the interviewer does it so <laughs> yes we be be very very confident and uh, like yeah make eye contact dress really well don't fumble like don't uh, take loose loose documents take a good folder mm. with you mm. yeah because i could see some people who uh, took loose documents and that was you know the interviewer got a little uh, irritated because of that mm. Mm. yeah yeah Yeah. so that and like a general tip i would give is apply to all your dream universities it doesn't matter yeah yeah 100% did you book your flights and everything so uh, not yet i'm i i was waiting for my visa to book my flights so now it's yeah now i probably will right <laughs> yeah it is very very expensive it is <laughs> about 90000 rupees or 1 lakh rupees yeah i know i know um and then did you book your apartment or no Yeah, I have uh, booked my apartment, um, and I have two really good roommates. Nice. And you booked your apartments with help of seniors? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. So I talked to a lot of seniors, like which are the good areas to live and what good apartment complex are available mm-hmm. there. So I I took the one which was in a relatively safer area, and nice. which was of course not very costly. Yeah. What's what's the rent? for three people for three people it is uh, $1200 per month okay so 400 not not too bad yeah. yeah not too bad yeah yeah and will you have your own bedroom or no yes uh, i'll have my own bedroom but we'll have to share the bathroom okay that's still fine i think you'll yeah, have yeah. your privacy so yeah cool this is awesome thank you so much for doing this i'm sure you're going to have a lot of fun at duke and hopefully i'll come visit you sometime so you can yeah yeah, yeah please tour. do uh, it yeah. will be awesome and then uh, once you are in the duke i'm i'm pretty sure you're going to be like google product manager or facebook or amazon and all the fun <laughs> companies and then you'll forget me like who's ud i, I don't care no, <laughs> so, no 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 nothing like that like i'm yeah. i'm of course going to keep in contact i mean yes. I've I've been watching your videos for so much time now like uh, even before I started my process. Oh, so thank if, you. if you have time I just want to share one little story. Yeah yeah you. of course of course. Yeah. So uh, I was planning to apply for MBA programs after 4 or 5 years. Mm-hmm. But I saw your video with Sundarya and yes. she went to Colombia for master of uh, engineering like management sciences. Correct. And 
uh, that after that point of time i started you changed your career these yes yeah yeah no sonder is a good friend of mine and we still in touch but yeah 100% i'm i'm glad you made that choice uh, you're going to love product management feel it's like awesome uh, you seem very social able and approachable so i think that's the one big skill for product management uh, other than obviously understanding the product and having that vision and etc mm-hmm. but yeah now i'm i'm excited we'll keep in touch and i'm excited to kind of see your journey and hopefully we'll we'll do another i know we will do another video where you are like big shot like salesforce <laughs> and google and microsoft yeah, hopefully and... yes <laughs> you will you will believe in yourself just like you said so thank you again and until our next one keep smiling keep hustling